All right, that was a private woman. She's in the club. It wasn't during school hours. <laughs> you know, it must have been on a Saturday night. She was out with some friends, having a good time, but she was pole dancing. But what? Those pictures went viral, right? And the Board of Education said, this is not the kind of person we want teaching our young people, right? No, she might be the most ethical person. She might be an upstanding person, but she just had a little fun. You know, she might not have been, you know, doing anything to make money. She was just dancing, having a good time. But they found the pictures online, all right? And it was what? The image of the individual. It was the image of the individual, right? She may not have meant to do anything wrong, right? When we saw those pictures of uh, Michael Phelps smoking that marijuana bomb, right? What image did that send of Michael Phelps? Irresponsibility, right? As, as, a, as a person who young people are looking up to, right? It's the image. Refrain from negative posting again, right? Now this is when you, you have those wild frat parties and you're drinking and you're mm -hmm. out and, and spring break in Daytona. <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and you want to show all your friends on what fun you had on that, on that spring break in Daytona or in Puerto Rico or down in Dominican Republic, wherever you went, but your friends are not the only ones who have access to those pictures, right? Suppose you belong to a prominent organization that has a chapter in your school, and that organization gets hold of those pictures. That's not the image they want to see of you, all right? Sir? A thing that can help people with that is number one, use a different email address instead of your personal email right. address when you sign up for these sites, number one. Um, and number two, there's a... There's protective, <laughs> there's protective functions, like in Facebook you can say only friends can see these pictures. Right, right? exactly. So use those. Exactly. At, and also you don't have to necessarily, necessarily use your government name. Right, <laughs> exactly. You know, use put, an put an initial and then put an initial or something in there because people just search your name as they know you. So if your name is Jason M. Carey, they'll put that in. But right. if you, Put Jason J. Boy Carey, they'd never find you. Exactly. So he oh. used an alias. So he used an alias. Or, or don't do it. <laughs> right. Exactly. It's just to help, help, help you out. You right. never just know. Don't <laughs> but you never know what somebody else think is a bad picture. You like I was I had a beer at the bar with my friends, but they'll be like, Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> but here but here's but here's a conversation I had with someone about a week ago. What if somebody took a picture of you? You didn't approve you of the picture, right, you didn't know it, you didn't yeah, approve yeah, of the yeah. picture going online, right, mm -hmm. but the picture showed up online of yeah. you, and then all of a sudden now, somebody else got one of the pictures, and maybe that, that maybe that's what happened to that young lady who was dancing on a pole, yeah, you know? I'm sure she didn't take the picture. Right, exactly, no you know, pictures. no pictures, no pictures, <laughs> or you tell your friend, hey, look, don't put that online. You know, but you have to, you, you, I mean, you have to be so cautious nowadays mm -hmm. because when information goes viral, that's it. That's it. It's out there, mm -hmm. right? It's out there, right? It's like, uh, who was that? Um, David Hasselhoff, Knight Rider. <laughs> that was pathetic. That was pathetic. You know, certain things don't need to go viral, right? <laughs> Utilize the internet for positive branding. Earlier, we, we discussed about, you know, developing our, our brands online, you know, posting resumes, posting, creating a, a, a personal website to promote yourself, promote who you are, <coughs> especially, you know, you're progressive, you're, you're in, involved in leadership development, leadership activities, you do a lot of volunteer activities. These are the kind of things you want to promote. These are the kind of qualities you want people to know that you have. Right? Because whether you're out of work or you're, you're currently at work or wherever you are in your professional lives, you want to always continue to keep that positive image and that brand robust. Right? So utilize the internet for positive branding. Use social media outlets effectively. Right? Um, Twitter, Facebook, you know, you have YouTube, you can post um, if, you, if you're involved in uh, public speaking, if you're involved in, like I do workshops, I post my workshops. I post my speeches, you know. So utilize social media. Again, all of this goes viral, so it's positive. You want, you want the positive things about you to go viral, because you always want to see people, people to see the positive things you do. Promote your profession, right? Sir? Uh, I was going to say a good site for people if they're looking for one is LinkedIn. It's like one LinkedIn. of the best sites exactly. to be on. Exactly. 
LinkedIn is another a good one. And find people all over the place. Mm -hmm. Right. And you can join different societies on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And I, I, God, I am, I, I'm a member of quite a few. <laughs> and I meet some very good people on LinkedIn, you know. Promote your profession. Uh, no matter your accounting or you're involved in construction or whatever it is, promote your, this young man um, who was a chef. Right? You might, you might, um, someone might call you up and say, hey, I have a private party. What type of, you know, culinary skills you have? What's your specialty? I want to hire you as my chef, you know? Give me a quote, right? You want to promote that. You want to open up yourself to that. You know, even before you start your restaurant, you might want to start getting out there and doing private parties and have people hire you, consult yourself out as a private chef. And this way, this is how you build your customer base, and you have customers going into opening your restaurant. Free advice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let I, I received that. <laughs> Let people know who you are and what you do. You want people to know who you are. You always want to remain on the minds of individuals. You want them to know who you who you are and what you do. And you know, again, develop personal websites and blogs. You know, blogging is a good way to show people that you are in tune that you are staying connected, that you have a different perspective on different types of information and, and subject matters, right? So this is a good way for people to understand who you are and what kind of think, what kind of person you are and how you think, all right? The other part that, um, that I included in the book, and then we're gonna get, then we, yeah, we're gonna get to that personal development plan, is a personal SWOT analysis. Right? Has anyone done a personal SWOT analysis or a SWOT analysis of any kind here? Right? When you do a SWOT analysis, right, and in business you do a lot of SWOT analysis when you're doing a marketing campaign or you're starting a new business because you want to understand your strengths as an organization or as a corporation. You also want to understand your weaknesses, right? Where, 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 where are we vulnerable, right? And what areas do we need to strengthen, right? What can we capitalize on, right? And that's your opportunities, right? What's out there in the environment that we can capitalize on that we can convert to strengths, right? And what are the things in the environment that threaten us, right? What threatens us out there? Advanced technology, new technology, are we so far behind that we have to spend a whole lot of money now to upgrade so that we can keep our customers, right? But in a personal SWOT analysis, you pretty much do the same thing, right? But when you're identifying your strengths, you're not identifying your strength as an organization, you're identifying your strength as an individual, right? You're identifying those personal strengths. What are you good at? What are you best at, right? We're all good at things, right? We're all good at several things. Some of us are good with our hands. Some of us are good with, with math. We're good with numbers, right? We're good with writing. We're good with speaking, right? We're good with communication. We're good, we, we all have strengths. Just as we have weaknesses, mm. right? Now, I don't want anybody to say, no, I ain't weak at nothing. Mm. No, I'm, I, I'm strong at everything. Mm. No, we're not strong with everything because we all have weaknesses. We all have things about us that we can strengthen, right? Mm. Um, so you have to identify your weaknesses and be honest. Be honest. If you're looking to improve yourself, you have to be honest about the things you're weak at, right? Opportunities. What do you see? as an influence or opportunity to improve your brand. What can you capitalize on, all right? I can capitalize on maybe if I learn this new software program, maybe it'll make me more valuable in my position. It'll basically um, make my department keep an eye out for me for that next promotion, you know? These are things in our environment that we can capitalize on, right? The opportunities that are out there, right? And what threatens our brand? What threatens our brand? My relationships? My um, the networks I keep, the friendships I keep, you know, my associations with certain individuals, mm -hmm. you know, the, the old saying, you know, your, your, um,